Hi guys, welcome back to your Tribility Performance Clinic. Today what we're going to be going over is a case study of a patient of mine that came in that had about two months duration of Achilles tendon pain on her right side. And the way that the pain presented was mostly all along the outer portion of the Achilles. The Achilles was tendon, or tended to palpate through the entire portion, but especially along the outer edge was more painful than the rest. She also had pain and kind of tracked and traced that right through here. So in our diagnostics, we did a lot through the lumbopelvic and the hip complex. We saw a lot of things with glute control and so on and so forth. But when we got into the gait and the lower extremity portion of things, we, we saw a little bit more. And that's what we're going to show you today with a taping application. What we saw was that her, her soleus was inhibited and shut down, and more specifically, the lateral portion of her soleus. In addition, we saw her peroneus longus metatarsal division was also shut down. Now what's important to know there is that in her late phase gait or her propulsion, when she's going through toe off, her calcaneus actually is supposed to go through inversion. And that's important when it comes to the soleus because as the gastroc and the soleus spin together as one into the tendon, the soleus itself actually acts as an inverter in late phase. And so she's missing that component of her movement cycle and she's got an overload of her peroneals and then she's got one that's shut down. So we turned on the peroneus longus metatarsal division and we turned on the soleus division with AMIT and then we reinforced with a taping pattern. What we chose to use is dynamic tape for this because it's a little bit more of a mechanical pull rather than our standardized kinesiology tape um, and it just for this application I liked using that instead. So what I'm going to show you real quick is to go through that tape application. The first thing that we did is uh, I always like to use a little pre spay so catch everywhere where the tape's going to make contact. The first line of tape, um, for the video I'm just going to go kind of short and, and lazy on this almost. I'm just going to start in mid arch and we're just going to cover the fascia itself and then follow through the heel. I'm going to create a little pull and a little tension and wrap that around the lateral side of the Achilles itself and come on up the calf a little more lateral. If you wanted to, you could have ran the tape into the toes here. You could have ran it over top to get the whole fascia line. You could have ran it on further up the calf. So with that being said, however you choose to do that, the next portion is, is what's really neat. And we learned this through dynamic tape. So <clears throat> in this case, I'm going to start right in the mid arch of the foot itself. And I'm just running right along the line of the arch. I'm not on the bottom of the foot. I'm right in the middle of the arch. And I'm going to come back through the heel. And this is where it gets important is I'm, I'm going to create what's almost like a rear foot or a heel lock where I'm going to invert the heel a little bit and I'm going to swoop around the heel and then I'm going to come underneath the arch of the foot. So I start with the arch, I go straight back around the heel, come down underneath the heel and that creates that inversion moment. From there, now I'm on the inside arch and I can crank here as much as I would like to and I'm going to follow that line or spiral line all the way around. And depending on the length of my tape, I just go ahead and candy cane all the way through. So if my tape went longer, I'm gonna carry on a little bit longer. So what this does is it gives me kind of a little, little combination. If I wanted to, I would also do another little quick art support just to cover the ends and to give her a little more tension here. So what this is going to do is the combination of the Achilles offload here and feedback and inversion moment at the calcaneus should give her a little offload of the lateral Achilles that she's experiencing pain with. And when she gets up, she feels like it's a nice bear hug. It's much easier for her to get through that rear foot gait mechanics. So in the video, what you can see here is how I've started here, come around the back of the heel, swooped underneath with this heel lock and then pulled up and around and spiraled through. So when she stands up, go ahead and stand up for me and face away and just go up onto your tippy toes. This is what we know as inversion. And so this helps, this tape application helps with that rear foot or calcaneus lockout. Okay, stay tuned guys for another great video with some more tips and tricks on how to care for your athletes. Thanks.